Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing or unpackaging rather to share with you guys. I am not 100% sure what's in here. Uh, it feels like there's multiple knives so we're going to get into it together and find out. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find a link for my Patreon right down in the description and please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Whatever is in here, uh, I will be providing links also providing links down in the description so if you want to pick ah these are from concept these will definitely be linked right down into the description whatever they are if they're available usually when concept sends me stuff it's they're available knives so i will do my best to provide those links down in the description let's get all the deals out here and we'll just start off with this one on the left um Open her up, get all the stuff out of there. First knife. I'll look at the name here in a second. Oh, boy, looks like we got a front flipper. Oh, okay. Well, that works beautifully. Boy, I like that. Uh, I do like straight lines. Um, what are we looking at for the steel here? 154 cm, and then max to it's called the prickle. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I'm so sorry. I can't pronounce his last name. So this knife is called the Prickle. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a, it kind of reminds me of the Feist from Kaiser, but it's much larger, which is actually preferable. And this guy's a liner lock, which means despite it being a front flipper and narrow, you don't really have to worry about where your hands are. I like that a lot. Uh, I really like that. That's nice. Look at the liners. They're black. I would imagine this comes in multiple colors. Oh boy, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. Nice milled out liners. Pocket clip is simple and nothing special there, but it's it's gonna work, right? This is not a review, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, if you're not familiar with my channel, this is not a review. This is an unboxing and first impressions. First time I've ever handled the knives, so I can't really do a review on something I just unboxed. You'll get full comprehensive reviews of each of these knives a couple of weeks down the road. Yeah, nice and smooth running on bearings. I'm going to imagine that this is not a horribly expensive knife. Like I said, links down below if you want to check those out. So that first one, absolutely, that feels like a winner. Second one here. Uh, at first I was going to say that box feels lighter, but I don't know if I really want to judge that. What do we have here? Something in titanium. Okay, come on now. Yeah, which way does it come out? Is there tape covering the front of the thing here? Oh yeah, the tape got squished over the top. There we go. Okay. So this one, also a front flipper. This is titanium. Oh, ooh, look at the finish here. Oh, oh boy. What is, this is awesome. Is this orange peel? <laughs> so I've never actually, I'm not going to say this is the first production night in terms of like the price range the first one ever that's had this texturing but look at this oh that's why i like this finish guys that oh i've talked about this before Ooh, okay so the front flipper works well this has got a does it have a recurve if it does it's very slight trailing point blade blade steel is s35en marble carbon fiber bolsters and look at that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, man. This is this one's going to be on the more expensive side. What's it called? I know you're like, shut up and tell us what it's called. It's called the Mugir. That's a Dirk Pinkerton design. Mugir. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. Very smooth. Nice front flipper. Getting my... There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm really impressed with the finish on this. Oh, that is excellent. Oh, I would love to see more production knives with this orange peel or eggshell. I mean, somebody's going to correct me and go, that's eggshell. That's not orange peel. It's eggshell. <laughs> okay. Orange peel, eggshell. This texturing on titanium is beautiful. You might be wondering, can you feel it? Kind of. It doesn't offer enough texturing to add meaningful traction, you know, like, for utility, right? But it is beautiful to look at. And 
honestly, it's been fairly exclusive and I think pretty exclusive to a much higher price point. I will link this guy down below as well. That's awesome. I'm, I'm really pumped to see that finish. And then the last one here, I think I keep wanting to say it's heavy or light, but then I get into the packaging and it doesn't feel that way. Ah, okay. So I remember looking at it. So you guys remember the little main street? They made a bigger version of it. Ah, man, that's cool. Okay. So this is 154 CM. Ooh, yeah. I think they, they listened when people said, or they were ahead of the game when people were like, the little main street's cool. They should do a bigger one. This is giving me kind of Spider Co. Yojimbo vibes, but not with such aggressive lines. This has the shiny carbon fiber, but very, very nice chamfering all the way around the outside. In fact, it's quite a bit more rounded than you might expect. This is super, super comfortable. Oh, man. This was an awesome haul from... Oh, my God. This might be my favorite haul from Concept. This is called the Main Street. So... It's not the little guy, it's the larger guy. I'm going to guess that this guy is also not horribly expensive and probably if carbon fiber is not your thing, right? It probably comes in some different materials. Maybe G10, maybe micarta. Oh man, this is good. Oh, this is really good. Yes, awesome concept. This is wonderful. <laughs> man, this was an awesome unboxing. I love all three of these. So... If you guys have watched my concept reviews in the past, they're a company who is like cannon blasting new models all the time. There have been some really good ones. There's been some kind of meh. And then there's a couple that I just weren't for me, right? Um, so, and in each batch, I kind of get a mix of those three things. In this case, first impressions, all three of these knives, I really like them. This is right up my, oh man, this is a good sized knife. 154 cm. And what are we looking at here for the internals? Hang on. Yeah, I don't know if, I'm, sorry. I don't know if it's, what? I'm, I feel like this is bearings. Yeah. Yeah. That feels like bearings. Uh, yeah, this is very easy to manipulate. Reverse grip. If you want to go this way. I actually really like that this isn't a frame lock. I, I love that uh, because it doesn't matter where you're putting your hand. I, I've really grown to enjoy liner locks on certain designs. I'm not saying like the liner lock is the best lock. I'm just saying with certain designs, I don't know why, but maybe line, combination liner lock thumb stud knives I really like. Yeah. It's hard to pick my favorite. This is an excellent front flipper and I love the profile. This is awesome because it has the orange peel texturing or the eggshell texturing on the titanium. That's fantastic. And this is cool because <laughs> it's a larger Main Street that has that awesome Warncliffe design. This is like exactly the right size too. Ergonomics on this thing, I cannot stress this enough. The chamfering at the edges is fantastic. That's really, really good. This is a really comfortable knife. Very cool. I love, I, I, can, I can almost guess the price point on that guy, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll link it down below so you guys can pick it up. Wonderful, wonderful stuff from Concept. Oh, it's been a joy to watch all the stuff that they've released. Check out Concept Knives down in the description. I'll link these three and Concept Knives in general so you can see everything they've released. Um, these are pretty cool. You'll get individual re reviews for each of these knives in uh, you know the near future, two to three weeks from now. But anyways, thank you so much to Concept for sending these guys in for review. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.